Hello gorgeous, my name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour, one hour reading, you can do that by just hitting the more button down below and following the link on over. I will be drawing on October 31st. Well, I hope everyone's doing well and vibing high. My baby Tuna made it through yesterday, but oh God, I'm on edge still, I'm trying. I really, this is a test of my mindset, guys, <clears throat> but there's a, she can't aspirate. If she throws up, there's a good chance she could aspirate. So they have her on um, medicine to not throw up, and it's scary because of her soft palate issues. She would get phlegm, and she would throw up you know, once a week or something. And so I'm so afraid she's going to throw up and aspirate. But I got her pills in her already this morning. She seems to be doing good, but funny enough, and they say female dogs will judge their owners. She, she's mad at me. She is keeping her distance. She's looking like staying out of the room. I could barely get her to come to bed last night. She is like, what did you do to me, lady? But she'll get over it. She did the same thing to me when she got fixed. It's really funny. Luna's such a sensitive soul. Nevertheless, I hope you're all doing well and I love you all. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I sat down to try to do a reading yesterday morning and my, my mind, I couldn't... Uh, balance myself. I don't think readers should be reading when they are not balanced because there's a good chance that you would, I would be, my energy would interfere. So I decided to not. It was the most responsible decision. Mysterious shift, frozen whispers, and misty veils. Clear the fog of uncertainty with warmth of clarity. Dispel confusion. Oh boy, Scorpio, there seems to be some fog clearing over the next 48 hours. Some of you have the fog clearing in your mind. If you've been dealing with some brain fog, if you've been dealing with some confusion in some area of your life, over the next 48 hours, you may start feeling really clear. And happy birthday to my beautiful Scorpios celebrating today and over the next 48 Personal growth can happen quickly and in ways you may not initially understand. Searching for the truth. Some kind of shift happening. You saying goodbye to the old version of you. Guys, healing is a painful, painful thing. Often we can start to heal to a point that we feel really sad because we start looking at all the time we feel we've lost, all the things we've accepted in our life that we shouldn't, all of the decisions that the old you made. And so when you are shifting timelines, when you are ascending, when you are healing, it can be this feeling of sadness when you think, I've been doing all this work, why don't I feel good? Because that comes at the end. And healing is very fluid. So a lot of you are searching for the truth here. And the truth is what you're about to find. You may really want to sit down and do some kind of five-minute breathing technique every single day. Do a bit of a meditation if you feel like you're disconnected from your intuition. Listen to the advice and your intuition you once ignored. Heed their wisdom. This is what I'm saying. My guide's confirming what I'm saying here, guys. Um, you're going to find the answers, but you're going to find the answers within yourself. You may not find the answers outside yourself. You may not get black and white evidence. But when you are in touch with your higher self, when you are growing, healing, ascending, you don't need black and white evidence because you have you. You have your intuition. You have your inner knowing that something is what it is and, and you must trust it more to be able to tap into it more. The only way you can start trusting your intuition is by following it a few times and seeing that you're not wrong. Tell me, Spirit, what is it that you want Scorpio to know about the, for the next 48 attraction? Call in your soul allies. What type of personalities have you attracted into your life? Set fresh intention around the kind of people that you would like to meet in the future. Clearing 
debunk your life. Make room for what you want in your life. Clear space, detox relationships, and let go of what does not serve you both physically and emotionally. Over the weekend, you may want to go and clear your home out, Scorpio. Say a protection prayer. Sage, salt the front of your doors, put some cinnamon on your floor. I use a Febreze mop a couple times a week when I'm just cleaning up. Um, and then I'll do like a deep clean with another mop, my steam mop. But even at least once, sometimes twice a week, I sprinkle cinnamon on my floor and then I just mop. I mop it up. Um, it's said to bring a lot of good vibes to your home to cleanse out the energy and to protect you. And so some of you may want to really get into some kind of habit of cleansing and clearing the energy. We do have a Scorpio new moon on November 1st, and this is going to be a very powerful one for us and it's a perfect time to cleanse and clear out your home your phone your closets i always deep clean new moon full moon it's my ritual um i love when a new moon or a full moon lands on a sunday because it's my day off but when it doesn't i still take that day in between sessions to do what i can and after i'm done um and so some of you may want to really make time to cleanse and clear your home if you don't do it this weekend on the new moon acceptance all is as it should be try to see the situation through the eyes of your best self you have the wisdom that will refrain from judgment so send blessings instead connection bottom of the deck meet on a soul level take time for some real heart-to-heart -heart conversations share true feelings connect and listen deeply and compassionately um, venus is in the sign of sagittarius it's a very good time for you to um, speak your truth to your lover to have a heart-to-heart um, it's important that you're seeing things clearly, that you're not living in the what if, that you're not in love with their potential of what you know they could be, they should be, they could have been, they used to be, that you are in love and in the reality of what is happening right now in the present moment, Scorpio. That is the only way you're ever going to get clear on your life and where you are on this journey is by looking at yourself and the situation with clarity six of swords energy here moving to a very very beautiful place page of wands there could be some kind of communication coming in over the next 48 hours that's going to make you incredibly happy some of you um haven't heard from someone in a while over the next 48 they could reach out you could get a birthday message from them um some of you there's something you've been waiting for but it's been delayed some kind of money um you may hear that it's coming in for whatever reason it's been delayed um it's about to start moving fast because uh my friends wow look at this the king and queen of pentacles Okay, Scorpio. First of all, first message, balancing out your masculine and feminine energy, balancing yourself out, your masculine and feminine in perfect balance, bringing in a lot of prosperity for a pentacles, bottom of the deck here, Scorp, saving money, getting on a budget important for you. Some of you are attracting in the right kind of lover, finally. Um, it's been a very long journey. You've had a very hard go of it when it comes to relationships, lovers, because you were attracting in, number one, people that you needed to, to show them you, you were a mirror to. Scorpios will often attract in people um, to mirror things to them so they start a rebirth process. But we always attract what we are in some way we will always attract what we are so if you are sad if you're down if you're going through a breakup if you have a lot of pain and you attract in another lover you are guaranteed to attract in a lover who is not fully over their ex who is sad and down and and unfortunately some people that kind of pain manifest out into hurting others 
the more you heal, the more you accept, the more you clear, the more you are going to attract in those right kind of people, friends, lovers, otherwise. Tell me about love over the next 48 hours, please. Boy, insecurities, unsure of who and where they are in life, wears a mask, hides their feelings, constantly covers up who they are. Scorpio, some of you are dealing with some insecurities, so you are attracting in people that are dealing with insecurities, but their insecurities play out different than yours. Perhaps your insecurities play out where you have abandonment wounds and you're afraid for them to leave you, so you tolerate a lot. Some people's insecurities play out with, I got to have as many options as possible because I have to feel validated. I must feel like I am important and attractive. It just depends. We all handle things differently. But some of you, you and this person um, are fearing rejection and you're constantly making moves because of that. You could be 37. They could be. You could have a 19-year-old. You could have been involved with them for 19 years. This person could have been born between March and May. Spiritual practices, becoming aware of intuition, guides, meditating, releasing. You definitely are being called to do some spiritual practice. Like I said, you could be 52, 25, deceit, actions do not match their words, living a lie and won't admit it, pretends their feelings for you doesn't exist and is dismissive of you and free will, independently taking action regardless of the effects having the capacity to make your own decisions without constraints from others. Amen. You could be turning 60 this year. I just did some research and I'm doing a content video on the meaning of a hawk it, spiritually. If you are seeing a lot of hawks, if you start to see a lot of hawks, just know that it is a divine message that you are being watched over. Um, hawks are known as the guardian of the sky. Um, many people believe that birds in general can be a manifestation of angels. I believe that birds are messengers um, from passed over loved ones, messengers from our guides. I have had many messages I've been thinking about something heavily and then a bird will fly out my car, peck on my window, um, you know, four days in a row, come perch on the same uh, thing, uh, red cardinal, for example. Some of you may be seeing a lot of birds over the next few days. It looks to me like there's somebody here that's wearing a mask, Scorpio. This person is deceitful. They're lying and they're hiding something from you. They could even be hiding and lying and acting like they're not in love with you. Um, to other people, they may be making you feel embarrassed because they act as if you're crazy or you're obsessed or you won't let them go when in reality it was both ways. You both have had trouble letting each other go. I feel for some of you, this person could have been a third party and now they're acting as if they're not in love with you. Um, and that's super painful. I'm sorry if that's happening. Others, this person's actions are not matching their words. They're saying a whole lot and doing a whole little. You know, you need to make sure they get into show me energy. Show me, motherfucker. Don't tell me. Show me before you allow them back into your life is essentially what spirit is saying. Acceptance. Get clear. Clear out the fog. What is the truth? Maybe this person has said this, but are they doing A, B, and C, Scorp? Tell me about this deceit. This person seems to be jumping from one relationship to the next. You could have found out that they were having sexual uh, encounters um, for some, for others. Yeah, you found something out here about their sexual encounters. It could have been online. This person could have been talking to someone in a gaming room. They want to control the outcome. They're disrupting the natural flow of this relationship. 
this relationship could have flowed so beautifully. You all could have had such a beautiful connection here. It was a divine gift. And this person's insecurities and inability to tell the truth has gotten them wrapped up in so many things through the years. Um, they have very rigid dating rules. Some of you, this person has only wanted to keep things friends with benefits. They have not given you anything real. They've refused to give you a committed relationship because they tell you that they're not into committed relationships or whatever they say here. And listen, when you are a fully healed, fully evolved individual and you want to be in an open relationship, um, that you're open and honest with one another, you know, some people open marriages, it works well for them. And that's beautiful. But when you're running around here saying, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't want a relationship, but then lying to everybody or making you feel like you're in a relationship, but then you find out they're at Sarah or John's house Tuesday night um, and they're lying to you about it. That's an issue. There's some transactional situation this person's in. Um, the online date, like I said, something about online. They meet new lovers online for personal gain, for sexual fulfillment. They could be hooking up a lot. Some of you are in a same-sex relationship. This person, somebody here hear, can have red hair. This person seems to be um, online dating and they're lying to you about it. They could have told you that they close, you know, they, they're no longer online. Some of you meant them online back in March, between March and May. Um, they haven't given you a real relationship yet. They, they do seem to be trying to work on some inner healing and their codependency, that's definitely what you're being asked to, to work on, Scorpio. Three of Swords energy, I didn't even need to see this. And the Three of Cups in reverse, period, that is an affair. A lot of you were involved with somebody that was openly having affairs. You could have had an affair with them. You may have known that they were living with someone else, but they lied to you. They told you they were leaving. They told you they were just co-parenting. They told you they were just roommates. Uh, you met them online. Uh, you fell in love with them before you knew. Others, you did know. You were hoping that this person would change. Unfortunately, this is somebody that's got to deal with these insecurities and codependency issues. Because if they don't, they're just going to continue this lifestyle with a lot of talk and very little action. And they're actually hurting their self. They jump from one partner to the next. And this is somebody who is missing out on a beautiful love and feel sorry for them, Scorpio. I feel sorry for them that they have interrupted the natural flow of this and they have chose this lifestyle opposed to having a beautiful connection with honesty and joy. Competition, denial, I love you, and family. A lot of you, this person is in denial. They're acting like they don't love you. They're telling people that. Most likely somebody they have a family with or they could even be telling their family this. I love you more than I have ever found the words to say, but it's much easier for me to deny my feelings. I get intimidated and nervous knowing how much attention you get. Well, hold on to your britches here, motherfucker, because Scorpio is about to go through a whole ass glow up and uh, we'll see who's getting attention. Look better, feel better, do better. Don't let this person keep you stuck for long, Scorp. Stand up now. Let them feel this way. Let them feel like, oh my God, look at Scorpio over there glowing, shining, loving their life. Why they sit around denying who they are and what they want. What are they going to do? Jesus. Some of you work with this person. Oh boy, the tower. Something's coming, guys. This could be an Aries or another Scorpio. Something's about to go down. This 901's energy, this person is already exhausted. They're just battle war wary. They're so tired. They're tired of fighting. They're tired of fighting their feelings. They're just all over. 
they need to find peace. They're really being pushed to be so uncomfortable that they have no other choice. They don't have a choice. They are going to have to change, heal, grow. If they don't, the divine is just going to keep wiping things out in their life. Um, they may actually start, tell me about free will. They may start making some free will decisions here that doesn't pertain to what people think, what their family thinks. But it looks to me like they have to um, strategically slip away. And, and I don't feel they're going to do it in the right way. They may lie to a third party, which is going to cost them. Anytime you lie and actively hurt anyone, it doesn't matter how bad they've treated you. If you are lying to them, if you are treating them badly, if you're, there's karma to be paid. And so if this person cannot grow up and tell whoever this is that they're involved with that, they may still have love for you or that they need time to clear their mind. Um, instead, just strategically sneak away or cause some kind of fight so they can leave. They're still going to have karma to pay. This is somebody that just can't seem to get it right. Hopefully with enough spiritual practice, hopefully this person may be actually leaning into their faith. They could be leaning into um, f figuring out how to deal with codependency, inner child issues. There could be some change. It does look like there's some tower about to fall here in their life. What is it? What is the tower, please? <clears throat> and it's going to happen really fast. Yeah, they're going to independently choose to be single. They're going to be unattached and available. But unfortunately, it, it, this tower is happening because they're living in the fast lane, acceptance bottom of the deck, embracing the journey, trusting the universe. This is somebody that may ask for space. I just heard, can I have space earlier? They may ask a karmic if they could have some space that they need to figure out what they want. Some of you, they may ask you that. This is somebody that needs to be alone for a while to make some clear decisions, to figure out once and for all what they want and who they are opposed to jumping from relationship to relationship they want to control the outcome so much that they've pushed you away and many others it's sad i hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed friday if you work monday through friday you have made it through another blessed week scorpio enjoy yourself today i am sending you love and light